Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build this Enderman farm. This is a really fast Enderman XP farm that is really simple to build and also really nice to use as it bunches the Enderman up into a little one by one area where you can slice away. Some concerns that come from them being in a one by one area is entity cramming, but I assure you when you're slicing away at them, this actually doesn't really happen. Uh, you just get max XP and it's really easy to use. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into how to build this. So first things first is materials. Right here is kind of everything you're going to need. The glass doesn't have to be glass. I just like the way the glass looks. Uh, and just go ahead and pause the video and take a look. The white carpet doesn't have to be white. It can be any type of carpet, even moss carpet. And this can be a glass pane if you want. All right. And then over here is some more stuff. So this is just the last little bit of that material list for the farm. And all this here is for an endermite. So you do need ender pearls to get an endermite in survival. Uh, of course, the name tag and anvil you just use to rename the name tag. And a water bucket is how you get down to Y0 in your end. Please note that in 118 and above, you're going to go down to Y negative 64. So just follow the steps that I show you here, but go down another 64 blocks. So with that being said, uh, let's go ahead, take these materials and go to where we're going to build this. So my recommendation is to come off of where you spawn in at the end, get a water buckets and just pour it right here. Then what you do in survival is you get a bunch of blocks. So for me, I'd get dirt and you go down into the water stream and you would build down like this. So you'd float down like this in survival and if you need to get air you just come out to the side here. You build all the way down. Obviously be more careful than I am. Get close to the end. This is where it gets a little tricky. You gotta be I recommend not taking any of your important gear if you're doing this early game. And that should be the last of it. Yep. Then you swim all well. Then you make a little bit of a platform down here. Whoop, be careful not to fall in. <laughs> Woohoo. Get rid of your water. And build ladders all the way up to your thing there, or however you want to get back up and down. That's how I would do it. Next, you want to go 128 blocks away from the furthest sticking out part of your end island. So target a block 113. So I was actually, I was off. So 113 plus 128 is 241. So that's where we're going to go. All right, here we are, 241. So this is what it should look like. You should be about this far away from your end island, but depending on where that last block was, um, yours would be further or closer. And this is going to be the center of your farm, basically. This is where your player is going to stand, right there on that block. And the reason that we go 128 blocks away is it ensures that there's no spawning spaces at the ma main end island, but it's still close enough to your main end island to not be too far to travel to get to, especially with the light trap. So this block here is going to be our main block of choice here. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to get all my materials. I'm just going to grab a stack of each thing because I'm in creative. So if this is your main block, you're going to go out three more blocks, then place two sticky pistons and put glass in front of them. Then to the sides, you're going to encase them around a tube of glass. Just like that, leave one space and then do another tube right above it. And then starting from this block here, one, you're going to count up. 43 so 1 2 3 4 and so on up to 43 1 42 and on the 43rd block what you're going to do is you're going to put your uh, main building block material then what you want to do is you want to make the full circle around so it's a full tube and you don't have to have these corner blocks i just like the way they look but i have included the corner blocks in the materials list All right, so when you've made it to the top and you have a tube going all the way down, 
we're gonna stay up here because you're probably in survival so you don't want to go all the way back there and do anything so let's go ahead and make the platform so the platform's going to take a lot of blocks so make sure you brought your blocks with you and what you're going to do now is you're going to go up this way 14 blocks so uh, this is going to be two actually uh, one, two, three, 13, 14, just like that. And you're going to do the same on this side. And then on this side and this side, you're going to go 16, including this block. So, And then what you're going to do is you're going to fill all of this in. So once this platform is built, you're going to come to the center, right where that thing goes all the way down to the bottom, where you're going to kill them all. And you're going to put a trap door just like this. Then you're going to get a temporary block. Put a trapdoor just on top, destroy that, and flick them both. So you should have trapdoor with a with the space there. Then come to this side and put a block to the side. Blocks to here, 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 and here. Then get yourself up here and get your carpets. I only need 10. And you're gonna get do two, 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 and two. Then what you're going to do is get a temporary block, put it to the side of this carpet, and then put a iron bar on top. Then, this is a difficult part, I just put a temporary block here, get up, get up here, and then put one block like that. And then I destroy it, or I, I know I'll have to replace that. Then I put a different block next to it, and then I fill the walls in, so it's just like this. All right, cool. So we know that the dirt block is where we're gonna have the endermite sitting. So now you do have to get your endermite in. So we're gonna switch the game mode to back to hard where endermites will actually spawn from ender pearls. And put two rails down and get your name tag, your mine carts, um, and your ender pearls. And you're gonna ender pearl until you get a endermite. Just like that. Name tag them, put the minecart down, and you kind of have to jimmy them around, get them right over the block where the bar is under. Then you're gonna destroy everything. In survival, this is a bit more tricky, but um, it's not too bad. Then make sure it's above the bar, destroy those two, and they're sitting right there. Beautiful. Replace the carpet if you broke it, get rid of that block, and then you should have a farm ready to go. Now when the endermen spawn, they're going to get real angry at that endermite, and they're going to go all the way around into that little entrance section, and they're going to fall down. So this is a good time to jump back down here. Now, yeah, we have some issues. Uh-oh, they are dying. That is not good. That's okay. We want them to die. So go ahead and get rid of this block, and then go ahead and open up this block here. Then you can go ahead and build your room, or however you want to do it for building purposes but right here and right here we're gonna have two blocks on this side we're gonna put a lamp and on this side we're just gonna put another block the button on this side and a lever over here turn the lever on then scaffold your way around to this side and you're gonna build some blocks around so right here there we go and they won't actually die look at that so then the other side, what you're going to do is bring your blocks like this. And you're going to have one, two, three, four, five right here. So that's the basics of how this works. So what this will do is it will push any ender pearls to the player if you need them. Chances are you won't. Now, the reason this looks so slow is because we got all these guys over here. So what I'm going to do is get rid of them. So of course you're going to want to spawn proof all of that and you also need to teleport proof everything. So what does that mean? Well, Enderman cannot teleport to too high carpet, so that's one way to do it. They also won't teleport into water, so if you want to cover your thing with water you can do that. Um, and they won't teleport into a space that's only uh, that's below three blocks high, so if you wanted to do something like this with like trap doors. Enderman won't uh, consider teleporting right here because it's not tall enough for him. Um, 
So that's one way to do it. Or you could do like slabs or just a block here if you want. Um, and then you're going to have to make sure that this is double carpeted or water on top. So however you want to do it, uh, I personally like to just do trap doors. Um, like this. And then if I can't do a trap door, I'll do a block. And then on top of the trap doors, I'll do these carpets. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that you have you can't click these trap doors. I think you might actually be able yeah, you click them. So, you know, that's my ceiling. And then I would go right here and kill them to get my XP, just like that. And of course, you, uh, you know, they can't get in there and you're safe where that is. And you can see it's really fast. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, one quick note is that this farm can be built in many different ways and for many different applications. So say for example, you want to uh, do wither roses, you can do the same thing next to an end gateway and have a wither facing towards them. Um, I like this one wide thing for the Enderman just cause it's nice, you know? Uh, but say you want to, you don't want to have to deal with all these entity cramming things. You know, you do get those Ender pearls, and that's why we got this button. So you could just farm Ender pearls and pick them up. You know, you see, you just got more. You didn't have to kill anyone. Um, but just get, just click that button, and the farm is off effectively. And you don't have to deal with any craziness. Uh, one good thing that you have to keep track of is redstone. So. Make sure that you're putting carpets above your redstone. So you could either do that or you can put the carpet directly above it. Uh, I think you can even, yeah, you can put it above that like so. Uh, don't put it above the piston, it will actually break it. So just put like a like a block and then carpets on top like that. And then of course you can do your carpets on top of the redstone. And that is kind of all you need to keep in mind. Um, and then if your Enderman farm ever breaks, the first place to check is to see if this guy got killed somehow or got moved or something because that is the most common problem with enderman farms now if that's not the issue and something's going on down here just make sure that the uh, wires are connected but really this is a really simple farm and you shouldn't have any issues with it of course if you want to add rooms just make sure to you know do some sort of roof mechanism like this and you should be fine Anyways, guys, I hope this has helped you out. Uh, in the description, I will provide a world download to this one right here, as well as a material list, as well as a possible link to me doing it in survival on the Afterlife SMP server. I do plan on building this specific Enderman farm there, and I think it'll be a really nice one. So if you want to see the survival version of this built, check that series out. Anyways, I hope you found this video useful. I really enjoyed uh, designing this it's kind of to me it's a refreshing design i'm so used to like the three wide enderman sets and this one just feels a bit you know more new to me but of course you can build it there's so many different designs out i'm just glad you clicked on this one and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye